Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, I have 11 a.m., so uh, let's get started. Uh, again, this is Mike Dutter with the National Weather Service in Wakefield, and uh, we're going to talk for the next few minutes about the, the any weather impacts over the over the next week. So, really, the main highlight for this late this week into next weekend, or into, into this weekend, and even early next week, are these persistent north to northeast winds. Uh, they're going to continue. Uh, they're going to uh, keep the uh, elevated tides uh, across the entire, uh, you know, shoreline through Sunday, if not beyond. Uh, most of the sites uh, will see minor tide, tidal flooding uh, right through the weekend. Uh, and in fact, even the some of, as the winds increase this weekend, uh, the northeast winds, we could start seeing some moderate coastal flooding at times, especially by Sunday. So, a coastal flood advisory is in effect right now through Friday evening. And most likely, we're going to have to see more advisories and more warnings uh, for the weekend. Again, uh, you know, this looks like a long duration event of, of elevated tide. So, so we just need to be prepared for that. You know, right now, there's there's uh, uh, doesn't, doesn't, you know between the the winds as well as the um, uh, harvest moon. It, it's uh, these hot tides are going to stay can continue to elevated. Uh, those northeast winds, uh, onshore flow, are going to keep these dangerous swimming conditions, uh, moderate to high risk of rip currents. Uh, also, uh, especially later in the weekend, we could see some beach erosion. Uh, the waves are gonna increase uh, from from the Northeast. So uh, certainly some beach erosion is possible. So not probably not the greatest weekend to be at the beach in general, uh, despite it pretty much being dry. In fact, it, we could see partly to mostly sunny skies this weekend. Uh, but again, the beach conditions probably won't be the greatest. Uh, there are there is a, a small chance for showers and storms today, but really uh, much much less than than previous days. And for our marine uh, interests, again, uh, talking about these increasing north to northeast winds, uh, especially especially late Saturday and, and into Sunday, uh, with a twenty to thirty knot gust expected by Sunday, and the seas will build to up to eight feet on the ocean and, and three to five feet in the bay. Yeah, again, small craft advisories are in effect for the ocean today, but uh, more small craft advisories are expected for the weekend. And again, here's the hazard overview and, and really, uh, really this green, you can see pretty much our whole area is under some type of a um, coastal flood advisory. Again, that extends through uh, extends through th Friday, uh, Friday evening, and, and most likely will be extended later into the weekend as well. And possibly some warnings will be, coastal flood warnings will be intermixed in here. Lots of minor flooding going on uh, over the, this morning's high tide and, and will continue. So just a quick look at the weather pattern for the next week. I, I, this, this low here, is, is responsible for, you know, uh, it's finally moved offshore, but it's been responsible for all these sh shower activity over the last few days. This is actually the, the low that came into the Carolinas earlier this week and, and dropped all that extremely heavy rain towards towards Wilmington and, and you know, southern parts of North, North Carolina. Uh, this, this low is really going to just ever so slowly move off the coast through Saturday. But the good news is that should take out, take any rain uh, you know, away from the area, and it should leave just uh, some sunshine, maybe as early as this afternoon, but especially tomorrow. Um, however, in its in its place, this this you know relatively strong high moves in, and you can see this pressure gradient uh, develops right along the coast, and that's going to cause those those northeast winds to to really pick up on Sunday. And this high really stays in place uh, right through right through Wednesday. Um, there could be some small chances for for showers. Uh, on on Wednesday, you know, by midweek, but in general, uh, you know, it's going to be much drier uh, than it has been the last few days, and gradually lowering humidity as well. Uh, no severe thunderstorm potential. Just wanted to highlight that there might again be some some localized thunder over the mountains and the south of us today, but uh, and then then over the mountains again on Saturday. But in general, uh, no severe storms are expected, and. Um, Unlike the last couple of days, no excessive rainfall is expected either. Uh, again, we may see some localized showers today and maybe again on Saturday, but especially today, but, but excessive rainfall is not expected. And you can see 
uh, very light rainfall expected, especially south side Virginia into northeast North Carolina if, if we see anything. And through the next week, uh, you know, this is through Saturday, again, very light rainfall, if any. And then, then again, even into next week, a really generally very light rainfall expected. So, so again, those, this, this rainfall may be from uh, a, any front that moves through or approaches on Tuesday night into Wednesday, but again, a pretty light rainfall expected. And the temperatures are going to be mostly seasonable uh, through the next few days uh, with highs in the upper 70s, lower 80s. Maybe that's a slightly above normal, uh, but but in general, it's seasonably above normal. By Sunday, and especially Monday, you know, those temperatures are slightly below normal. Uh, you know, again, as that, that cooler, that, that cool high pressure builds in and then coming uh, moving back to near normal for midweek uh, again and notice these um, probability precipitation forecasts uh, each day. Uh, today is has the highest probability of precipitation and then just some low, slight chances or low chance precipitation uh, for, for Wednesday. Um, you know, with those Northeast winds, again, uh, we, we're definitely gonna see increasing uh, marine threat uh, through, uh, through the weekend. Uh, lots of these oranges right here are really, and, and yellows are due to the waves um today uh and and again on on friday and even even into saturday although you start to see some stronger winds by saturday but but notice these oranges and and reds on on sunday into monday again uh, we could see certainly see wind gusts up to 30 knots uh it, we could see some localized gale force gusts over the open ocean on uh, on um, sunday and maybe even to Monday, but really the main thing would be the the waves. The wave heights will be increasing to to you know five to seven feet uh, by the by Sunday. So far five to eight feet by Sunday. So so we're definitely seeing those uh, that that onshore flow kicking in by by then. And this is just our overall threat potential through uh, through Sunday evening. And again, most of this the, the, these higher winds are going to be Sunday. And as well as these higher seas, so um, this is sort of another a snapshot, really, for what we're expecting later uh, later on on Sunday. And a uh, forecast summary for the area again, or for uh, the marine area. You know, notice that in general, ten to twenty knot wind gusts out of the north or northeast through Saturday, but then again, as that high pressure builds in, they, they rapidly. Uh, we're expecting a pretty rapid in increase of winds on Sunday. And along with that will be the wave heights increasing as well by Sunday into, into Monday, really, uh, seeing those five to eight foot waves over the ocean and, and even the three to five foot waves within the bay. The other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the tidal flooding potential uh, through the weekend and, and even beyond uh, the, oops, excuse me, the, uh, the, the orange orange colors are generally where we're expecting minor coastal flooding for each day, whereas the um, these reds are where we're expecting more of of moderate coastal flooding. So you can see as we go through time, we just expand expand these uh, the oranges and, and the reds, you know. And so by Sunday, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of a lot of moderate coastal flooding potential up into the northern bay, up the Potomac, up the Rappahannock. Uh, into uh, uh, Dorchester County and, and uh, Bishop's Head, uh, you know, and then even even down here uh, um, uh, you know, across the southern east part of the eastern shore there, uh, Northampton County, uh, where you know we're expecting perhaps some some uh, moderate coastal flooding as well, and even the the lower bay here, uh, lots of. Uh, lots of minor flooding expected to, to continue. So again, this is something we're going to have to keep a close eye on for the weekend. Again, I, I think we'll, if this trend continues, we will need to be issuing some coastal flood uh, watches and warnings for, for certain locations for the weekend. So, so certainly stay tuned. And here are just some of the some localized, um, some local tide sites in our, in our forecast. And again, I think you'll see the theme of all of these for the next few slides is that the, the tides for the most part stay at least at minor stages, orange, each high tide stays at least into orange or close to orange. And by Sunday, 
sat, even Saturday afternoon, but certainly by uh, by uh, later Saturday into Sunday, you start to see these uh, hydrographs, uh, these tide forecasts getting into the this moderate red category. So, so the tide, you know, the tides that you saw now, you know, if you had any flooding, uh, you know, with the with the tides this morning or overnight. Uh, expect that to continue and perhaps become a little worse uh, through the weekend. And again, same is true with um, the, the uh, Lower James. Uh, again, just seeing these tides mostly around minor. Kip to Peak is, is touching moderate uh, briefly, but but in general, Sewell's Point, um, the, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel and other sites in the Lower James are staying right around minor flooding uh, right through the weekend. And then the ocean, again, notice how as we get to these building, uh, the increasing northeast winds by Saturday into Sunday, we're starting, and, and those waves, we start to see uh, the building tides as well. And uh, remember, like I mentioned at the start, uh, we could certainly see some beach erosion uh, developing by Sunday with those building waves and, and, and as well as the tides increasing as well. So, so stay tuned. Um, Again, not the greatest of weekends to be at the beach. And along with that, a good segue is uh, rip current forecast. Uh, high rip current risk today, uh, uh, moderate to high, mo uh, high risk of rip currents tomorrow. Uh, the higher risk tomorrow is up the, across the northern beaches. But in reality, um, you know, I think all, you know, all the beaches will have some type of uh, rip current risk tomorrow. And again, through the weekend, moderate to high risk, risk of rip currents is expected. One last thing I want to talk about. Again, we're still in hurricane season, uh, and uh, these these areas over the open Atlantic, we have no reason to worry about it. They, if they develop at all, uh, it will be slow development, and they will stay mostly over the open Atlantic. Um, this system here uh, bears a little bit of watching. I mean, it, it's it could be later next, it would be middle of next week, perhaps before it even starts to develop. Uh, but there is a 40% chance of gradual development of this system uh, over the, um, you know, east of uh, the Yucatan Peninsula into the into the Gulf of Mexico. And, uh, you know, it still would be way too far out to know of any, any impacts to anywhere uh, if this system develops. But it's just something to keep an eye on for next week. Again, it's nothing imminent by any stretch, uh, but by middle of next week, we'll see see how this thing is is developing but there's there are some hints that something will develop next next you know early to the middle of next week so again just stay tuned and speaking of next week uh, uh near normal temperatures are favored for the area as well as uh above normal precipitation chances are favored again uh, regardless of anything develops um, over the gulf of mexico there are some hints that there's going to be a stream of moisture coming back north again from the tropics or at least the, the subtropics that could give us better chances of rain you know especially in the middle to the end of next week um so uh we might have some drier weather into early next week but then better chances most likely later in the week next week and that's all i have so um thank you for uh, your time and uh, i'll be happy to take any questions if you have them Again, just go ahead and uh, put those in the question bank if you have them.